Hello, my beautiful stars out there, earth, air, fire, and water. I hope everyone has been staying prayed up, blessed up, and doing what you do best. And that is Havavin. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful night out here in Rain Child's Corners. And so I'm going to be doing a love reading, you know, for Valentine's Day. And I'm just hoping everyone is having a great time. And let me go ahead and cleanse my hands. Thank you, Spirit. Get straight on into this reading. And yes, my son is live and loud. And yes, with these roses here at the end of the reading, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to let you pick one red rose and one white rose. And I'm going to give you the meaning of the rose that you picked. Thank you, Spirit. And you can take this as an ending message. Thank you. All right, and so let me go ahead and clear for some communication. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let me ring this bell. Get rid of any kind of negative energy. Thank you, spirit. All right. Let me just get set up and centered here. Thank you. And the first set of cards I'm going to be using is the Housewife Tarot. And so everyone's been just doing great. <laughs> All right. And so um, let me jump straight into this reading, child. And whatever comes out, comes out. And we're going to just take whatever messages come through and flip it how you need it be. Nothing but the highest light, God Almighty. Archangels, ancestors, evil is never welcome here. Thank you, Spirit. Bring forth truth. Thank you, Spirit. All right. And just bear with... Dang. <laughs> All right. I was about to say bear with me while I pull these cards. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the magician. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Emperor. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups. The Three of Cups. And we have the Fool. All right, so what I'm seeing right here is like some type of, you know, magician. You know, maybe this is someone you dealt with in the past, or it could be someone you're dealing with right now. Or it could be something that could be coming into your future. But you do have the Ten of Cups here. You know, 
you um, have everything together. You know what I'm saying? And then with the four of wands, you know, you have that beautiful home. You way up in the sky and you also have the emperor here. And um, the emperor is like a father figure. This is someone who is close to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, someone who makes you feel at ease. And with the seven of wands, you know, you've been basically, you know, holding your ground, you know, trying to fight against anything that's trying to come up against you. And with the seven of cups, you know, you have um, decisions, you know what I'm saying? And with this three of cups, you know, it looks like two forces are coming together to create one. You know, it's a card of creation. You know what I'm saying? In this deck, this is a card of creation. And then with the fool, it looks like you know, maybe you, you know, you're just going to step out. You know what I'm saying? You're going to take the full journey and you're going to step out on something. But we're going to go on ahead and get more into this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to um, pull from the lover's oracle and see exactly what this is all about. Thank you, spirit. But yeah, you know, the magician in this deck, he's like a trickster. You know what I'm saying? He's... um. Not all with it cracked up to be, you know, it, it, you know, you can look at him and see him here with this crisscross looking suit on, you know, and he's trying to sell, you know, sell something that's possibly no good. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you know, they're probably trying to tell you something, you know, just to get what you have. But we're going to get more into a chair. storyline is put together okay all right we have the golden mirror here with the magician and a self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing so someone has been love bombing you know, it's not what it's cracked up to be, like I was saying earlier about the magician. You know what I'm saying? And um, with this um, Ten of Cups, this Ten of Cups right here, you know, she's someone who's independent. You know, she has her Ten of Cups. She has everything she needs. You know what I'm saying? You know, she's celebrating her life. You know, perhaps um talking here and with this talking card it says um conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hoovering so you know someone is like hoovering over this person you see these two people right here they're hoovering over on her you know it could be possibly this magician and maybe he might have some other you know female in the background and you know they're both watching you you know what i'm saying because maybe they're trying to take what's yours but what you what is yours is yours you know what i'm saying 
All right, now, and then we have this um, Four of Wands here. And with this Four of Wands is the mirror. Mirroring each other's self-image relationships reflects our wounds, you know, introspection. And technically, from what I see right here, you know, you see these people down here in the bottom chair? She way up there in the top. Way on the top, you know, with her big old drink. Got her book in her hand. And she ain't trying to feel it. She don't feel like, you know, mirroring nobody who's hoovering over on her. You know, someone who, you know, is self-absorbed and is a narcissist. So she's not feeling it. And you want to know why she ain't feeling it? <laughs> because the emperor's here. You see him? The emperor is here. And the emperor, basically, you know, he just gave her some information. I, this is what I'm thinking. He gave her some information. Yeah, because the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things. Come into light. Adapt. Change and heal. You found out something. You found out something that really, really crushed you and broke your heart. And the emperor told you all about it. You know what I'm saying? It's probably your father figure or it could be an ancestor. And, you know, you didn't feel like mirroring them. You know, with all this mess, you know what I'm saying? You didn't feel like mirroring nobody, you know, who was trying to take what was yours. You ain't got time for it. No. Magician, my butt. <laughs> he's a narcissist. Whoever this person is, he's self-absorbed, just looking out for himself and his probably his um his side piece. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got you know, messages that came through, you know, it could have came from your ancestors, you know, your intuition might have just kicked on in, child. And your, um, the emperor here, he could have been an ancestor that just came through. You know what I'm saying? And check this out. Abundance. Yeah, you got a lot of abundance. It says keep a positive mindset. Exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. You know, you're going to have gratitude and bliss anyway, regardless of what anybody's trying to do behind your back. You know what I'm saying? The seven of wands, you're standing your ground. You know, don't, you know, just be sitting back and, you know, dwelling on what people have done to you. You know what I'm saying? Because you have abundance coming through. Yes, you're going to um stand your ground. Yes, you're going to... um look out for yourself you know what i'm saying why because you got choices child you can choose any any path you want you can choose anywhere you want to go yes choices are all you know they're unlimited child to you just remember that and then you know you also had i like you you know i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to you know want to date you <laughs> you have choices you don't have to settle for less you never do you know what I'm saying? You can just keep it pushing, moving forward. You know, if somebody breaks your heart, just let it go, you know? And then with this, you know, this three of um, cups right here, maybe you found out something. You know, the girl with the snake came with this. It's like um, empath and narcissist, you know what I'm saying? Being charmed or used or enabled. You know, maybe someone, you know, they, they trying to use you. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't dealing with it. Maybe you found out with this three of cups. And this magician card with the golden mirror, you know what I'm saying? You found out a couple of things, you know what I'm saying? The three of cups, you know, that's like creation, you know, that's two things coming together to make one. Maybe someone got pregnant, you know what I'm saying? But you taking a full journey, you know, you're moving away from that. You know what I'm saying? You packing up all your stuff, honey, you know, <laughs> so check this out right here. <laughs> you were way up here on top, you know what I'm saying? You know, chilling. It looks like maybe the family or whatever, you know, was down at the bottom trying to get you to come down to talk to them. But you were like, nah, but you got all your stuff together and you decided, you know, all right, now I'm coming down. I'm about to go on the fool's journey and go on my merry way because this ain't for me because I got choices. Because someone likes you. Someone wants to take you out on a date. You don't have to deal with mess. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the engagement card, you know, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. You have a union coming through, you know, and this person that's the magician, you know, they, they were just trying to get what was yours. You know, that's sad that it's like that. And this could go for male or female. You know what I'm saying? You know, people nowadays so desperate, they come together and <laughs> there will be a couple, honey, and they'll come together. And try to just blindside you just to take your monies. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go on ahead and pull some more cards on this too. Thank you, Spirit. And see what else they have, all right? 
And just give me one second to clear everything off. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what people do nowadays to try to get your money when they just can go out and, you know, work and get it themselves. You know, I work 12 hour shift child. I'm a nurse and I get out there and I get it the best way I can. And that's how I get my money. You know what I'm saying? You know, I sell like my cards and stuff or whatever on the side, but I save. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be dealing with somebody who's going to try to take you for a ride. Child, please. (laughs) <laughs> they better get out there and make it they darn self <laughs> all right and so i'm gonna be pulling from the romance angels all right nothing but the highest light god almighty archangels ancestors evil is never welcome here thank you spirit and whatever messages come out that's what we shall be taking all right and like i say take this message and flip it how you need it be All right, so let's see. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make these right here two separate messages. And you take which one applies to you. It's your choice. All right. The first two cards will be a message, and the second two um, cards will be a separate message. All right, and this is from for the first two. All right, it says heart-to-heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, okay? And then this one is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So if you've been in, like, in some type of separation or whatever... You know, and you feel the need that you want to work on things, you know, work on things. You know what I'm saying? You know, have that heart to heart conversation. You know, um, just don't be in separation and, you know, be hurting and everything. You know, try to come together. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like her. (laughs) You know, way up on top. You know, the family members down there trying to, you know, come and speak to you. You know what I'm saying? They want to speak at you. They want to um, have that one-on-one conversation with you and, you know, with your mate possibly to try to work things out, you know. So you can look at this message anyway, you know, however you want to flip it. You know, it says, um, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You know, if the person is not a narcissist and it's not just a one-sided situation, you know, maybe things can be worked out if you just talk one-on-one. All right. And this is the second um, message. And it says, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right. And then the second one is express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. All right. And what I'm getting from that right there is the card that came out that said, I like you. Someone likes you. You know what I'm saying? Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. You know what I'm saying? And um, the engagement ring came out. And then, you know, you're going to sit up here and take this fool's journey. You know what I'm saying? You're thinking about it. You know, like I said, it's going to be in the present or the uh, future. Or it could be past. You know what I'm saying? And um, it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You know, express your love. You know, it looks like it's, you know, going to be okay to go on ahead and do this. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, with the engagement ring here, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. All right. You know, um, things can, you know, come together just as quick as some things fall apart, you know, especially if, you know, you're looking for something or someone, you know, who's going to come into your life. You know what I'm saying? And be one on one with you and have that 50 50. You know what I'm saying? And want to be there. You know what I'm saying? Want to build with you, not tear things apart, you know? And then I'm going to show you this car. Yeah, because they like you. Someone likes you and someone likes you a lot. You know, they want to, you know, flirt a little bit and they want to take you out on a date. You know, you start with baby steps and then work your way up. You know what I'm saying? And then possibly, you know, you could have this engagement ring later on. You know, everything ain't always ugly. You know, you know, everybody's not always 
you know, messed up in the head and, you know, just out to get you for what they can get you for. You know what I'm saying? You know, especially if you're a beautiful person inside and out, you know, every every now and then, you know, you'll attract someone that you're not, you know, that's not on your frequency and not for your highest good. And then sometimes, you know, you'll make mistakes and end up, you know, with this golden mirror with a self-absorbed one-sided person, you know, one-sided relationship and someone who wants to love bomb you. But I think now, now in this day and age, I think a lot of people are waking up to this and I know a lot of people are not even trying to deal with that (laughs) period point blank and let me find this other yeah here we go and the magician you're not dealing with people you know who is being deceptive anymore you you don't have time for that and you know if the family wants you to come together and try to mend this relationship you know it's your decision you take what you can you know, and leave the rest, you know, when it comes to this message, it's your decision if you want to do this or not. But if this person is a, you know, self-absorbed trickster energy and this and that and the other, I mean, yeah, you can honestly discuss your feelings, you know what I'm saying, with each other and just move on. But if it's someone that's just trying to come into your life, you know, a new person with some bull, mm mm-mm. You know, trying to trick you out of something that belongs to you. Mm -mm. You know, him and his mate, side piece or whatever you want to call it. (laughs) They can go on about their business and live happily ever after. (laughs) And um, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to pull some more cards and see what else we can get from this. Thank you, Spirit. Nothing but the highest light. God Almighty, Archangels, Ancestors. Evil is never welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and I know like when I go out, sometimes I pick up people's energy and stuff and this is how you know i saw someone today and um it just from this card right here reminded me of them it says stop criticizing yourself you are perfect just the way you are you know you could tell this person had been crying and stuff it was sad all right it says harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement thank you spirit And then the last card is you want a person who comes into your life by accident, but stays on purpose. Yeah, you want someone to come into your life by accident and stay on purpose, child. Not no goofball magician, (laughs) magician (laughs) who trying to sell dreams and ain't got a pot to piss in. (laughs) Thank you, spirit. So don't be down on yourself. Just know love is agreement. You know what I'm saying? And just expect a person to come in by accident and stay on purpose. And so I'm going to be pulling from love your inner goddess. Goddess. Thank you, spirit. All right. Let's see what else spirit has. Give me one second. Nothing but the highest light. God Almighty, Archangels, Ancestors, evil is never welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, number 11, Finch Spirit Guide, okay? And then I'm going to pull one more. Got 
too many out. Let me get one more. All right. We have Beautiful Bandit, okay? And I'm gonna read out of this book. One second. Alright, Finch Spirit Guide. It says it's a good time to experiment with how best care for your mind, body, and soul. It's not about being perfect. It's about finding what works best for you. You are in a phase of your life where giving back to yourself is important. Perhaps you have been sharing a lot of yourself with others. You know what I'm saying? And so it's time to give more back to yourself and, you know, not share so much to the point where you're taking a whole bunch away from yourself. You know what I'm saying? All that you need to know is this the right time, you know, to take extra care of yourself. All right. And so we have beautiful bandit. All right. And I'm going to read out of here. All right. Just like, um, stop criticizing yourself. It says, um, you can choose right now how to feel about yourself. If you've been beating yourself up, stop it now. All right. Don't let anyone else decide how you should feel about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't let other people dictate who you are. You know who you are. You're a beautiful person inside and out. Yeah. Stop that. You know, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want a person who comes into your life by accident and stay on purpose because you are perfect. Why? Because harmony is pure. Love is for, you know, is complete agreement. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, being in a relationship with someone who criticizes you and beats you up or whatever, you know, that's hurting yourself too. All right. Nothing but the highest light. God Almighty, Archangel's ancestors, evil is never welcome here. Thank you, spirit. And then I'm pulling from the lover's oracle. Thank you. And then we will do the roses. Okay. And just for the record, you know, when you leave from a bad situation and you have to start over, you know what I'm saying? Be sure to clear your energy. Be sure to take your spiritual baths. Be sure to clear all that energy off of you. And if you have anything, you know, like, for instance, underwear, bras and stuff like that, they touch. Be sure to cleanse all that and cleanse it good or just get rid of it and you know, throw it away and get you some new stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, get it when you can. You know, energy, it'll travel on you. Sometimes it'll just make you just be down. You know, feel like you're beat down. But, <laughs> you know, try to get rid of all that stuff. Have yourself a nice clean slate. All right. And this is the first card. All right, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Yeah, life is too short. Don't waste your time on people who do not mean you no good. You are better than that. You deserve better than that. Thank you, Spirit. All right. And then healing. All right. And you see this right here. And this is if you want to heal your relationship. If you want to keep trying to work on it, you know, and heal yourself. <laughs> it says, imagine yourself and your beloved, you know, surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And you see, this is a beautiful picture, you know. If you're not in that bad of a situation, because all situations are different, you know, you can heal from this. You know, sometimes it just might take time, 
You know, like I was saying earlier when the cards came out, you know, have that heart to heart conversation, you know, give your relationship a chance. You know what I'm saying? Just depending on your situation. And just like with this card, it says new beginning. Look at that. New beginning, a brand new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So, you know, if you're not in a relationship and something might be, you know, trying to come through for you, you know, basically embrace life. Live your life and your dreams passionately. You know, work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't be in the dumps over things. You know, don't be feeling guilty over leaving things in the past. You know, don't ever let nobody have you feeling like this. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's not a good place to be in. You know, been there, done that. And trust me, I don't, I do not want to be like this again, ever again in my life. You know, it is a time now to be happy. You know what I'm saying? You know, be in harmony with love. Harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement. You know what I'm saying? And just know you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. Now, however you meet this person, you know what I'm saying? You know, usually when you out and about and you meet somebody, usually it is by um, accident. Okay, and so we're going to um, go with these um, roses, and I'm going to let you pick the rose in whatever rose that you decide to pick. You know what I'm saying? You know, that'll be your meaning. You can pick a white rose or you can pick a red rose. Okay. All right. So if someone gives you red and white roses together, you know, like on Valentine's Day or just any birthday special occasion, basically what they're saying to you is, um, you know, it means, you know, unity, you know, together. You know what I'm saying? And, um... So the red um, rose, you know, represents passion, true love and romance. All right. Appreciation and true respect. Romance and um, to preserve the love and passion you share. Love at first sight. Mutual love. They want you. You know what I'm saying? This is someone, you know, who really, really, really enjoys you and they want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, and um, so if you chose the red rose, know that um, someone really, really wants you. They want you to be with them for all of eternity. You know, they want to have this mutual love with you. You know, they loved you from the first time they seen you and they want to preserve the love and passion the two of you share. You know, you will have long lasting um, romance, appreciation and true respect for one another. OK. All right. And so if you chose the um, white rose, you know, um, the white rose, you know, is, you know, lifelong love with peace, trust and peace, engagements or weddings, forever love, focus in life, you know, good news, you know. And um, if you even see something like, you know, if you see a garden or you see a whole lot of white roses and stuff around, you know, um, it means good fortune. So white roses represents good fortune. You know, you could actually take, you know, some white roses, put them in a vase, you know, put them in your home for peaceful energy and um, peaceful energy all around and within, within yourself and around your house. You know what I'm saying? And um, roses... You know, basically, they are associated, you know, with paradise, you know, and there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of different meanings when it, you know, when it comes to roses. All right. And so I'm going to read this right here to you. And it says, pray without ceasing, you know, just continue to pray and pray and pray to God Almighty and your angels and, you know, speak to your ancestors because, you know, they love you so much and they're always here and they're always going to be around and they're rooting for you, child. But yeah, there are so many different uh, meanings when it comes to roses. 
and the colors and the meanings it is beautiful just beautiful 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 and so i just hope everyone loved this reading and um you know certain things i tell you all you know be sure to look it up online you know go to you know go to barnes and noble get you some books you know go to a library get some books research things you know just don't take you know my word or anybody's word for certain things you know what i'm saying if you need to you know understand things more you know what i'm saying and i just want to um thank you all to my new subscribers give me a thumbs up and peace love and light mm -hmm.